In this uh, tutorial, we will consider reactions that follow first order kinetics. Recall from our uh, previous tutorial that for a general reaction scheme, we can express the change in concentration with time, uh, dA over dt, equals the rate constant k times the concentration of A raised to power n. So if we have a first order reaction, then the order of reaction n will equal 1. And if the concentration of A is decreasing, then we can write minus dA over dt equals k times the concentration A and note that uh, n is equal to 1, so it is k times a. Now we integrate equation 1, and as you know, in uh, integrating differential equations, the first step is to separate the variables. And the variables are a, the concentration, and t, the time. So we have minus dA over a, equals k times dt when we separate the variables. Next we will integrate this equation. So we have minus the integral sign from some initial concentration a0 to a dA over a equals k, the rate constant, and inside the integral where the limits are from 0 to time t we have dt. Now note that the integral of dA over A is natural log of A. So for the left hand side we have minus natural log of A that is evaluated at A0, the initial concentration, to A, some final concentration at time t. And on the right hand side we have k and the time is from initial time 0 to some final time t. Next we can go ahead and simplify our equation 4 as minus in parentheses natural log of a minus natural log of a0 equals k and in parentheses we have t minus 0 and by introducing the uh, a negative sign in the left hand side, we have natural log of A0 minus natural log of A equals K times T. And this is equation 5. So from our previous screen, we have natural log of A0 minus natural log of A equals K times T, which was our equation 5. So if you rewrite this equation 5 using a property of logarithms that natural log of A minus natural log of B equals natural log of A over B. So we have the left hand side for equation 5 we can write natural log of A0 over A equals K times T. Now at the end of the shelf life TS the quality attribute concentration will be AE then we can substitute those conditions in equation 6 as natural log of A0 divided by AE equals K times TS. The shelf life of a quality attribute that follows first order kinetics then is TS equals natural log of A0 over A divided by K. So this equation 8 gives us the shelf life for that quality attribute. Note also the equation at the top, equation 5, is an equation of a straight line. So we can make a plot of natural log A versus time t and if we plot the data we will obtain a straight line that will be sloping downwards since the concentration is decreasing. And the slope of this line will be minus k. So if we obtain a value of rate constant k, 
then by substituting it in equation 8 we can determine the shelf life and we will see that in an example uh, in a different tutorial.